Over the centuries, music has been a powerful global resource. Today, music also offers solutions to many of the critical social and economic problems facing both developed and developing countries. The Music as a Global Resource Initiative has just published its third compendium, presenting over 100 projects from over 40 countries throughout the world, thereby enabling all nations to benefit from each other's experiences. The projects show the beneficial effect of music on sustainable community development, mental and physical health, working with trauma survivors, enhancing lifelong learning, and peace building. Here are some examples of how music is making a difference in people's lives around the world. From Colombia, Let the Music Touch You is a countrywide initiative under the auspices of Fondacion Nacional Batuta, a partnership between the national government and the private sector created in 1991. Batuta has many program components, including nearly 800 pre-orchestras and vocal ensembles, located in all 38 states, serving over 22,000 children, half of whom are victims of violence. One quarter come from extreme poverty, and many are disabled. Two program evaluations conducted by outside agencies underscore the strong positive impact that Batuta has on the children, their families, and their communities. The Nordoff Robbins Center for Music Therapy in the United States is one example of how music is being used to promote mental and physical health. Clients of all ages and all levels of need are brought into active musical participation in small groups and individual sessions which provide a positive and inviting environment where they can develop their abilities and potential to live a productive and satisfying life. The center also provides outreach programs to the New York City school system for children with special needs, children with hearing impairments, and teenagers who are making a transition to the workplace. The Lengji Project in Guinea, West Africa supports and enhances the quality of life for homeless children and children with disabilities. Their approach engages children in traditional music and movement, enabling them to perform for their local community. In spite of their numerous disabilities, they are able to re-enter society with honor, respect, and accomplishment. The project provides the children with a home, transports them to a school site and the centers where they perform. It also has a facility where the children can sell the traditional instruments that they craft. Project Lengji also partners with schools from other countries, such as the Sydney Linear Public School in Gainesville, Florida, where the children have performed together via the internet. In 2008, an 8.0 magnitude earthquake occurred in Sichuan, China. 90,000 people died, and another 370,000 were injured. Within two weeks, 60 music therapy professors and students arrived to work with survivors in large groups, small treatment groups, and individual sessions using familiar songs, dances, music games, and song discussions. Survivors began to participate more actively, gently being drawn out from a state of grieving. The music and activities generated a positive energy, thereby lifting their spirits, which greatly aided the recovery process. Musicians Without Borders is an international organization that uses the power of music to connect communities, contribute to healing and reconciliation, and build tolerant, non-violent societies. Its projects target all generations using all musical genres depending on local needs and demand. Projects are designed for local control and sustainability. At the present time, Musicians Without Borders is actively working on three projects in Bosnia-Herzegovina, one in the occupied Palestinian territories, one in Kosovo, two in Rwanda, and one in the United Kingdom. Vast opportunities exist for music 
together with information and communication technologies to provide solutions to our social and economic challenges. Music as a global resource unites the creative energy and expertise of the private sector with the political will of government to dramatically expand the use of music, thereby enhancing the lives of people everywhere. Dr. Matthew Lee, a pioneer in the belief that music can change lives, said clearly, Music is a universal, innate language with no natural boundaries. Its very accessibility is a vital argument for its widespread usage.